Good day, folks, and welcome to the IT Way. My name is Joanne, and this is one of many videos that we have in our membership portal here and in the description below that is ties into the Cisco Meragi Certification Blueprint. You're going to see all information and tools that you're going to have for you to go from zero to hero in everything about Cisco Meragi portfolio. So if you are interested in that, you can go to the description below. Enjoy this video and see you the next one. Now in this video, we're going to go a little bit more deeper into the MX deployment with the MPLS. And it, this one is going to be a little bit tricky because we can see always the MPLS or most of the time, the MPLS in the LAN network. And then we're going to use the static route to communicate between sites. And that's what we're going to go now. So here you can see that this is the configuration that we have, the topology, one MX, we can call it site A or MX1, and then MX2 on site B. Inside those two locations, we're going to have one router, let's call it router A or router A, and router B or router B in the other side. And it's connected through the MPLS circuit, which is different to the internet breakout that we have. In the LAN side of this MX, we can call it here the LAN side, in the addressing and VLAN section, what is configured is this subnet. Let's call VLAN 10 because it's this site. This is VLAN 10. And the subnet is 10.0.2 slash 24. There is another VLAN configured, let's call it VLAN 100, which is the point-to-point -point link in a way for these two devices, the MX and the router A. It's 10.0.2.1 and 10.0.2.2. And that's the two VLANs that we can say that is configured primarily in this LAN device. If we go to the other one, it will be the same. There is another LAN here. Here, this subnet, let's call it uh, VLAN 20. And this subnet as well, let's call it VLAN 200. And this one is 10.0.1.1 and 10.0.1.2. And 10.0.1.0 slash 22. This is the configuration that you might have here. And then how you can configure the MPLS circuit to make it work. At the end, what we want is a static route. And let's put it in that way. So I'm going to make it completely general. So we don't have to say specifically how it's going to be configured, but you know, Cisco Meraki dashboard, I'm going to see later on, is just drop downs. So it's going to be as easy as that. We're going to say that site 8 to reach site B. And in this case is, let's put VLAN 20. So I don't have to type everything. So to reach to the destination VLAN 20, you have to go the next hub, which is going to be 10.0.2.2. As simple as that. Because in the other side of VLAN, you have configured the two VLANs, 10 and 800. I know that it can reach out to 10.0.2.2. After that, you send the traffic through. The MPLS knows its own thing, understand where the other traffic is going. So it's going to send it through the MPLS circuit. The traffic is going to be hit. It's going to hit the side B, the MX. The MX has this device, a specific what, whatever device is sending, the VLAN 20, has it directly connected. It's going to send it to the LAN. And that's it. That's the only part that you're going to need to configure an MPLS circuit. And in the other side, to return the traffic, is going to be similar. So you have a static route here, the same. You're going to have the destination is going to be VLAN 10. That subnet completely. Next hub is going to be this little guy. So it's 10.0.1.2. That's it. Next hub is 10.0.1.2. So when the other client that is inside of this network is going to send traffic, it's going to reach to that side. Oh, that's VLAN 10. To, for me to reach VLAN 10, I have to go to the next hub, this person, this router, router B. And router B knows how to send it through the MPLS circuit. Once it reaches out to the south A, side A, oh yeah, this device, whatever the IP address, I have it directly connected. I'm going to send it to the LAN. So that's how you configure two secret appliances to different branches with the MPLS sequence side. Bear in mind, you can see it. You connect it in the LAN and use a static route. So what kind of static routes you can use? What kind of modes? That's what we're going to see it in the next video.